as a solo developer, especially with a full-time job to do with limited time and money, it wasn't really possible for me to build my very first SaaS app with complex tech stacks. The ideal case scenario to build a perfect billion dollar app is to keep the backend and the frontend separate through APIs. Well, you need different databases, at least one for the actual data and another DB for caching data and background processes. You would also need user authentication, payment system, support chats, and all kinds of tools for maintenance of the project. A lot of tutorials for creating a SaaS or a web app on YouTube or other platforms are usually really complex, which is really amazing at the first glance because they're showing you how to build a complete and complex app. But when it comes to deploy the project to the real world, it becomes really complex. Well, that's really amazing if you have the money and the time. But hey, in the actual world we live in, we have a lot of responsibilities. We have a limited time to do what we want to do. And for those reasons, most of the time, and because building the app seems so complicated, we just stop chasing our dream of creating our own very first web application SaaS or website. Now the solution is to use the minimum tools possible to launch our web application or website. That's exactly what I'm going to talk about in this video. Two weeks ago, finally, I stopped waiting for the perfect moment and launched my very first SaaS with the minimum tech stack possible. You won't believe me if I tell you that this SaaS doesn't even use any database. I will talk about the details of the tech stack in a moment, but to understand it very well, first, let me tell you about what my SaaS does actually. When you go to codemizer.com, you'll see that it's just an input box and a button, literally. When you paste your code and click on the analyze button, it starts analyzing your code. And then after a couple of minutes, it gives a total score showing how good your code is. And more important, it gives you a list of suggestions to improve your code and increase the score. So basically the website checks your code to see how good it is based on clean coding principles and best practices. Now this is how it actually works behind the scenes. The actual analysis is happening using OpenAI GPT model. So simply I need to use OpenAI APIs. However, I could have simply called the APIs in the front end, but that way the content of my prompts fitting to GPT would be visible. So I do the calling in the back. Practically, I need to have both backend and frontend parts. I simply use Next.js framework because Next.js framework uses React framework for the frontend practically, and you can handle the backend as well. The interesting part is that I use Next.js server actions to create a connection between frontend and backend. The usual way is that you create a couple of APIs in the backend to do the business logic, like communicating with OpenAI services, and then call your custom APIs in the frontend. But here, using server actions in Next.js, I just need to create some functions and then use those functions in the front end components. And that's it. Because the website is for everybody to use, there is no authentication system at this stage. Also because I don't need to save any data, I don't need any databases. More importantly, because I don't have paid users, I don't need to have a support chat. Now the big question for me is that how to make money from that? Well, as a solo founder with my first SaaS, the most important thing is increasing my site traffic. Then later I can add the authentication and the payment system pretty quickly or simply use Google Ads service or donate services to cover for my expenses and a little bit of profit margin. But the most important thing to me was to launch and test my core SaaS idea instead of waiting to have the perfect product, which will never happen. Now I'm going to help you to do the same thing. I'm working on a SaaS boilerplate that is going to be free of charge. You can use it freely and it will be available on GitHub very soon. So basically you can just fork this GitHub code and then you can start building your app and deploy it as fast as possible, maybe in, in a couple of hours. So I will be gone for one or two weeks to work on this and complete this. And then I will be back at this channel announcing the new code base or basically a SaaS boilerplate that makes it really easy for you to start your basic core idea and launch it. The main important part is a launch and deploy what you have in mind. It's not enough that you just work on a complex project locally on your laptop and you never deploy it to the wall. So the whole idea is that you come up with a simple idea as fast as possible and deploy it and make it available to the world so that everybody can use it and then give you a feedback, even if it's a really bad product. So if you want to have this code based project and want to launch your SaaS idea very fast, subscribe to my channel because I will be back with another video in one or two weeks. See you then. Bye-bye.